Welcome to Jolly Ball BCS. We're going to be opening one of our starter packs today, show you what's inside, how to work it, and everything you need to get started. So, let's get this open. So, if you open up your starter pack, there you'll find everything that you'll need to start out with. Going to our left or right, you'll find that we have our Jelly Balls. We offer 10,000 Jelly Balls in each starter pack. If you need more or just want more, we also sell them individually on our website in increments of 10,000 to 20,000, but usually 10,000 is a good place to start if you're just starting out. We recommend that we soak the um, Jelly Balls to two to three hours in any large container as a way for them to expand to their full capability of the gun. If you have any large container with a lid, like we use a five gallon uh, bucket for our jelly balls to expand. If you have any kind of lid for that container uh, that you use to expand these, definitely use it as it can, uh, as if the lid's on, these jelly balls can last for weeks on end and still be ready to play right out of, uh, right out of the bucket. So yeah. Moving on to our charger and our battery. The charger is just like any other USB, as it can fit into any USB outlet, even it, your computer USB outlet if you really wanted to. At the end of it, we have our color-coded uh, ends as a way to easily show how to connect everything. So white to white, snaps easily together like that, and it's ready to charge. Once the USB is plugged in, you'll see a light. This light is either going to be red or green. If the light's red, then the uh, then the charger still or the battery still needs to charge just a little bit to get ready. If it's green, the battery is ready to go and ready to shoot. Moving on, we have our goggles. It's like any other basic goggles that you'll find, but we definitely need eye protection. As though these guns are low impact, they still have enough power to poke out an eye or a tooth or anything like that. So, moving on, we have our hopper. We'll show you how to put it on the gun in a little bit, but it's like any other real hopper that you'll find in Jelly Ball. Uh, once you fill it up with your jelly, fully grown Jelly Ball, it'll show something like this. Make sure that there's no water in these as it can seriously damage the gun. Uh, electronics to fix this is really simple as you just put any finger over it and just flip it and shake it a little bit. If there's any water into these things, uh, into the jelly balls left over, they will just, it'll drip onto your finger or just drip out the thing like so. And then boom, it's ready to go. Moving on, we have our barrel sock. Our barrel sock, we are still are um, trying to improve it as it is a little bit hard to put on, uh, but just kind of, Put it on like that and then just kind of shove the actual sock onto it like so and it will not come off like this at all so just take it off just pull it off like so and you're good to go moving on to the actual gun itself um it's pretty simple as uh, we aim for a younger audience uh to get to the battery port all you need to do is flip this plastic handle right there and battery port pops up. Once it's open, you get your battery, unplug it from the charger. And remember we have those color coordinated, color -coordinated uh, ends. So we have black to black. All it does is snap into place. Boom, it's ready to go. And then just fit the battery into place. Boom. Close the port and then flip the little plastic handle back over and it's ready to go. So now we move on to our switch. This is an on and off switch, but we also use it as a safety feature. As like I said, these are the barrel sock is a little bit harder to put on. So once you have the switch, right is going to be safety, while left is ready to fire. The, uh, we're going to turn it off safety again. 
or on safety again, and then put the hopper on. To put the hopper on, turn the gun upside down, and then screw on the hopper like anything else you would screw on. But make sure that you don't screw on the hopper too tight, as it may hurt the plastic, and uh, after too many uses, it may break the gun if you have it on too tight. So, that's how it works. Slide it back off safety, and you're ready to shoot. I hope this video helped y'all. If you have any questions, don't be uh, afraid to ask. Uh, our email is info at jellyballbcs.com. You can also call 979-219-9626 if you have any questions about it. But if you don't have any questions, have fun with this. I know I do. And have a great day.